question 239 solve 1 plus y square dx is equal to tan inverse y minus x so if you observe there is only one x term here all other terms are in y so you will rearrange this into d okay sorry dx by dy is equal to so dx by dy equal to tan inverse y by 1 plus y square minus x by 1 plus y square so instead of writing x minus x by 1 plus y square we'll do one thing we'll just write we'll bring that term to this side lhs so plus x by 1 plus y square is equal to tan inverse okay so we just rearranged this into this form so this is a standard form for a linear differential equation with x as dependent and y as independent variable so standard form is dx by dy plus x into p equal to q where p and q are functions of y alone here p is 1 by 1 plus y square and q is tan inverse y by 1 plus y square so integrating factor for such questions is given by e raised to integral p dy so e raised to integral 1 by 1 plus y square dy we get e raised to tan inverse y so integral 1 by 1 plus y square is e tan inverse y so e raised to tan inverse y as our integrating factor so solution for linear differential equations such linear different such different linear differential equation is given by x into integrating factor is equal to integral integrating factor in the q dx plus c so we have x into e raised to tan inverse y is equal to integral integrating factor which is e raised to tan inverse y into q which is q is tan inverse y by 1 plus y square tan inverse y by 1 plus y square dy plus c so if you see this integral we have tan inverse y we can substitute tan inverse y for t so differentiating both sides we have uh, 1 by 1 plus y square dt so sorry dy equal to dt so we have 1 by 1 plus y square dy here so this simplifies this x into e raised to tan inverse y is equal to integral e raised to t into tan inverse y is t so t into dy by d 1 by 1 uh, dy by 1 plus y square becomes dt so dt plus c so this is this we can do by parts integrating by parts so this is first function and this is second function we have x into e raised to tan inverse y is equal to first function t the differential of second function is e raised to t itself minus integral of differential of first function becomes 1 into integral of second so e raised to t dt plus c or we have x into e raised to tan inverse y so we will just substitute for t which is tan inverse y so tan inverse y into e raised to tan inverse y 
minus this is e raised to t itself so minus e raised to plus c so if you divide throughout by tan inverse y we have sorry e raised to tan inverse y we have C is a arbitrary constant. So this is the final solution to this question. So these are the steps. This is a solution to question number 239.